Texas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or for more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. There's ranchers out there still trying to decide, do we have cows alive yet? We just haven't found them. You know, how many cows have we lost? Things they're seeing short term, you know, they're seeing cows with burned feet. The coronary bands are burned to the point that some of those cows are starting to lose a hoof wall. The udders are burned. Uh, so far, it looks like those with burned udders are still producing enough milk to keep the calves alive. You know, if they're really bad, you know, some of those cows with burned udders probably need some antibiotic to keep the secondary infection under control. You know, might need, you know, some ointment on there of some kind. Some of those burned udders, you know, they aren't letting those calves nurse, so they've got to use some milk replacer. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just good animal husbandry practices, just good common sense in many instances, but it's, it's just the labor force to get it all done. The people downwind from the fire are the ones that are reporting most of the respiratory problems right now. Just they weren't in the fire, but they got the heavy smoke, and those calves are seeing runny eyes. They're starting to see some respiratory problems. There's going to be some, some death loss in, in these calves just from inhalation. There's very little that can be done for that. You, you pull and treat the individuals, uh, you know, these calves, get them on a good vaccination program. You know, we've, we've talked about the, the co-mingling that went on because the fences were burned and, and you've got herds mixed that have never been mixed. So, you know, particularly things like BVD, you know, are we going to get BVD spread into herds that haven't had it before and, and we get a secondary effect there on respiratory disease? I would approach those as, you know, let's, let's treat them as we would typically treat respiratory disease. Let's get an antibiotic in there. Let's, you know, make sure they've got plenty to eat, plenty to drink, and take care of them and let their immune systems work. It's going to take a mental toll on, on those people, and, and they did their best. You know, I, there was nothing more that could have been done in those instances, just devastating. So, I mean, we need to be prepared to support those people.